Thanks very much. Uh, President Conference, Gail Cartmel, Unite, speaking in support of Composite 9. Conference, what's so galling about the government's public sector pay policy is the rank duplicity of their rhetoric. We've been told that public sector workers have gold-plated terms and conditions and that their pay should be capped to help private sector prosper. But we know that that's complete and absolute nonsense, and in fact the exact opposite has happened with public sector pay policy contaminating the wider economy. Cutting public sector pay has sucked out demand, added to the woes in the private sector during and following the 2008 crisis and recession. And worse still, the poisonous public sector pay policy has polluted many private sector firms who have treated it as a green light to follow suit. And shamefully, many organisations that benchmark against public sector pay agreements, such as social care providers, charities and advice organisations, who have also applied the pay freeze and cap, thus making a very bad situation much worse. So conference government is also playing games with what it defines as the public sector. We've seen a wave of privatisation rolling back the state at a rate not seen since the 1990s, selling valuable assets like the Royal Mail, sold off on the cheap. And at the same time, they've sought to hook in supposedly independent organisations and contractors within the public sector pay cap, a new draconian anti-union legislation, public when it suits their purpose. Unites faced just this in recent disputes with Serco at Bart's Health and at the Bank of England and with pensions disputes at the Nuclear Decommissioning Agency and Atomic Weapons Establishment. Unite's Bank of England strike wasn't one in the boardroom. Unite won that strike by the actions of the brave men and women who for the first time in 50 years walked out, took to the picket line and won overwhelming public support. In Threadneedle Street and on the streets of Whitechapel, Bank of England and Serco workers were joined by the Shadow Chancellor, John Macdonald, because he knows a bottom dollar, low wage economy is bad for workers, bad for communities, and stifles economic growth. Yes, Britain needs a pay rise, and yes, a real living wage, but not the phony imitations of Cameron and May. Unite's £36 million strike fund is our promise that our members will not be starved back to work, not by government and not by any other employer. Enough is enough. We will organise, we will mobilise, we will win, and yes, Mark, yes, let's coordinate. Support the composite.